Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, whenever it resonates, okay? So the timing is fluid. This is basically a timeless reading, right? <clears throat> See what kind of havoc the cats can drum up today. I just gave Evie hell. So she's sulking. Anyhow. What do we have for a message today? Four Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is somebody that is very focused on security. This is somebody that, you know, their main focus is what they can hold on to. Very much afraid of loss. This person may be so afraid of loss, they're holding on tightly to what they have, that they're not even able to accept anything else, you know? <laughs> this guy is very... Uh, stubborn and I, the reason he or she is so stubborn is because they are afraid of loss there's also somebody here that likes to uh, project that they are secure you know they don't they don't want anybody to think that they don't have it together Holding on for dear life. Somebody's holding on to something. This is somebody that is typically, I mean, the Four of Pentacles is very, can be greedy, selfish, can be a miser. Doesn't, you know, this is like somebody that doesn't like to let go of what they have. Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So the Eight of Pentacles is a hard worker, right? This is a hard worker. This is somebody that is very focused on getting the job done, very skilled at what they do, probably does a job that, you know, they've done over and over and over again. Um, very focused on abundance, focused on uh, money and security. Whatever this person invests in, that's what they set their mind at. We have somebody here that is very skilled. This is a hard worker. So we do have a hard worker here. Somebody that is very uh, good at what they do. We may even have a perfectionist here. Somebody that, you know, has mastered some sort of skill. There is somebody here that has plenty, but they just, they work, 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 work. We have somebody here that is very focused on money. They're focused on their work. That's their main focus. Seven of Cups is options, choices. Consequences. There's so many options here. We have somebody here that obviously has a lot of options. They may be confused right now. I feel like we have somebody here that has been really focused on their work, but they have other options. They have other opportunities. They may be confused. They may be burying themselves in their work.
Feels like we have somebody here that's trying hard to... Well, while they're trying hard to create abundance, they're trying hard to bring the money back, they're very focused on their money right now, there's some sort of confusion. There's, there may be, while they're working, they're thinking about their options, put it that way. This person is really considering other options. They may be getting bored. I mean, this is repetitive behavior. It is. It really is. Same thing over and over and over and over again. But it's stable. It brings some sort of stability. So we have somebody here that's very afraid of loss. They have other options. So we have somebody here that has other options. They're thinking about it, obviously, especially when they're at work. This may be other work options, maybe other relationship op options. When the Seven of Cups comes out, we have somebody here that has so many options, they don't know what to do. You know, there's multiple choices here, and this person is confused. And this person that is confused is very afraid of insecurity, does not like insecurity, so that's you know, causing them to continue to keep doing what they've been doing. They've been doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and they're going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it right now or they have been because there's some sort of confusion as to, you know, what should I do? This is familiar, right? It's safe. I know how to do it. But there's other options. So there's somebody here that is probably thinking about their options, right? Should I branch out? Should I do something different? There's, there's fear. There's fear of loss. There's fear of letting go of what feels secure because I know what I'm doing here. Here, you know, oh my God, what if I make the wrong choice? So we have somebody that is very afraid of loss. So they're doing what they've been doing, but they're thinking about the other options. Okay, these just fell out. Two of Swords reversed. Judgment reversed. The Lovers. Gotta love that. Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups reversed. I got hair on me because that's the story of my life. Okie dokie. So, somebody's been hurt. Okay, they're hurting, they're grieving, there's a loss, there's a painful separation. Ah, this hurts, there's heartbreak, stabbed right in the heart. This is the heartache, grieving. We have somebody here that is, is hurting, their heart is hurting, their heart is hurting, They've, they're hurting really bad, Some, it's bleeding, this is a bleeding heart, so somebody's heart is, is definitely hurting. They're very dissatisfied, the Nine of Cups reverse is dissatisfied. Wish I was anywhere but here. This is not happiness. This is not what I asked for. This is not wish fulfillment. This hurts so bad. There's so much heartache and grieving and pain here because it is. It's heart pain. It's, 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 there's a loss. There's been a loss. We have somebody here that is holding on to something that is secure, but they're ex feeling grief. They're feeling grief by holding on. It hurts so, it hurts to hold on. This hurts so bad. Uh, two of Swords reversed is uh, coming out of denial, seeing the truth, realizing the truth, making a painful, stressful decision. So if somebody is extremely dissatisfied. You know, they've made a poor judgment call. There's a lot of self-doubt. They've been uh, doubting themselves. Uh, they've been in denial about a situation they've 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 hurt themselves okay judgment reverse is a poor judgment call moving on from a poor choice somebody's somebody's really been struggling with a choice they've obviously had more than one option um they've they've been unaware or they've been struggling to accept the truth they have they've been struggling to accept the truth they've been struggling to uh, release something. They've been struggling to move on, right? And 
I do believe that we have somebody here that is going through a, some sort of awakening, okay? It feels like there's, there's, they are, I mean, they're struggling to wake up. They haven't been awoken. They've been so focused on what they have and burying themselves in their work that they've been ignoring their options, but they've been thinking about their options. And this is, this is um, coming out of denial, making a choice, seeing the truth. Uh, there's a lot of self-doubt here and there's no faith. Somebody has to believe. They have to have faith. They need to um, face their fears with that Two of Swords reverse. Somebody's been protecting themselves. Here's the, here's the security, upright. This is protecting, not letting somebody in, you know, pushing them away, blocking, blocking. Somebody's been blocking. It's like they know what they need to do, but it's safe where they're at. Anyhow, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love, right? It is. It's an opportunity for love. It's an, making a choice in regards to a partnership, okay? And whatever this choice is, it's like, do you want to be with the one you're with? Do you want to be single? Do you want to be with somebody else? Um, this is a healing love. There's a definitely an opportunity here. There's choices and there's consequences. Seven of Cups is choices and consequences, and the Lovers is choices and consequences. So somebody is definitely in the process of making a choice. They're very doubtful. They may be, you know, fearful of not being given a chance, you know what I mean? Um, because judgment reverse is like no chances, no chance of forgiveness. Somebody may be fearful of not being given a chance or fearful of you know, not having wish fulfillment. Anyhow, I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be doing something. The Eight of Pentacles is also about putting in effort to create something. So we may have somebody here that's about to put in some sort of effort or try. Okay, they may be willing to try something. But this person has been extremely stubborn. This is like a blocked sub a blocked consciousness. It's like subconsciously they know, but they've been blocking it. Lack of awareness. It's like I know, but refusing to acknowledge it, acknowledge the truth. Somebody's been blocking their new life. Okay, they have. They've been blocking their new life because of their fear of change. Okay, fear of false beginnings. Fear of you know, not being chosen or fear of being rejected, you know, that kind of thing. But there is an option here because the lovers is an unexpected choice in love, a healing love, a, a, a contract or a union where there's shared values. You know, it's a perfect match. This is an angel that has brought in two people together that are, you know, these two people are a perfect match. They have a lot in common. This is a deep connection, a deep bond, a very sensual, sexual, uh, caring, loving connection that can uh, be perfect. This angel, this is, a, this is an angel that is bringing two people together. It's meant to be. But this is a lack of awareness. It is in making somebody needs to move on from their denial. They need to move on from their poor choice and they need to make a choice. They can't just keep doing the th same things over and over and over again and playing it safe. You know, holding on to what you have doesn't allow anything else in. And I saw that here. If you're going to be stubborn, if you're just going to focus on your money or you're going to focus on playing it safe, Nothing else can come in, okay? No more abundance can come in. Anyhow, we do have grieving, we have heartache, we have suffering, we have dissatisfaction, uh, not happy at all. Somebody has wants to be someplace else, but they have to uh, make another choice. They have to make another choice. Choice, choice, choice. These are all about the choices that you make. It's interesting because this is a card of consequences. This is a card of consequences. And so is the Seven of Cups. So there's consequences for the choices that you make. Okay, good or bad. The, ch the choices that you make own you. If you choose to hold on to something that feels safe, that doesn't bring you very much, you know, you can't allow anything else in, then that's your choice. 
that's your choice. It appears to be a poor choice when there's another option here. There's definitely another option here, okay? There is, but we have somebody here that may not be seeing it because they've been wearing that blindfold and protecting themselves, and they're so afraid of loss that they're not letting anybody in, or they're not making the right choices because the safety zone is so secure, right? So you have to find your inner strength to step outside of your safety zone. Anyway, we do have somebody here that is grieving, they're hurting, um, they're not satisfied with their current situation, and there is another option here. They may be unaware that there's another option here, but there is definitely another option here. Cups reverse. That is a separation, breakup, detachment because there's another option. Somebody may be hurting over a loss. They may be detaching from a partnership. There is another option here. I mean, the Two of Cups reverse is a breakup. It's a separation. It's an unhappy couple, right? There's another option. There is a better option. There's a better match here. We have two people that are not on the same page. They're no longer compatible. It was a, you know, we, the choices that we make in our lives in the past, they're all part of our karmic lesson. So it really wasn't a mistake because it got you prepared for the perfect match. Here we go. Chariot reversed. Chariot reversed. This is scattered emotions. Emotions all over the place, out of control. Lack of discipline, lack of willpower. Somebody's lost their determination. They've lost their will. They've lost their faith. They're stuck. They're unwilling. They have been unwilling to take charge. They've been unwilling to boss up. They've been unwilling to make a move. We have a very unhappy couple here. Very unhappy couple. Unhappy partnership. Hurting. This hurts. Not going anywhere. Stuck. Lack of willpower. unwillingness to make a move, unwillingness to move. Somebody's unwilling to move or they're unwilling to take charge even though they're very dissatisfied in their situation. There could be an emotional outburst ahead, just saying. There's lack of success. There's an unsuccessful partnership here. Somebody has uh, maybe they chose it because of all the things you know that it came with. Maybe there's some sort of something to do with the vehicle. You know, sometimes you know what happens is, is is people get in relationships. Somebody buys them a vehicle, and it's a way to manipulate them. You know, for the entire relationship. I bought you that car. Some sort of, you know what I mean? So they feel obligated to stay. If anybody buys you a vehicle, don't take it. At least that's my advice. 
Because then they have it, they have that, they can hold it over you. I don't know where that came from, but just did. Maybe that's for somebody, maybe it's not. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, right next to the lovers. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Value. She's, she's very focused on her stability, creating something, creating abundance, creating stability. She has the ability to make anything more beautiful. She's a creator. She's a mother. She's a homemaker. She's a natural. She's fertile. She grows things. She's very focused down to earth, laid back, business oriented. So we do have a queen of pentacles in the future, right around the corner. There's been some sort of stalemate. Somebody's made a poor choice. They've been in denial. They've been in a partnership that is going nowhere. Stagnant. There's a new opportunity here. There's somebody here that is holding on to something that feels secure because it's safe, you know. Yeah. But we have an unexpected choice in love, an unexpected opportunity here. You may be unaware of it. We may have somebody here that, you know, is just focused on their job and they don't see it coming. You know, they don't see it coming. Maybe they have been so focused on their money or their job, they're not looking for a partnership. They're hurt. They're grieving over a previous partnership that didn't work out where... You know, they made a poor choice, and there's a new love here. There could certainly be a new love here. Queen of Pentacles, she's focused on her value. She's focused on her stability. There is romance in the air, though. She has a lot to offer, right? There's going, it feels like there's some sort of increase here, too. Five of Cups, grieving over a loss. We definitely have a loss here. We have it next to the Two of Cups reverse. This is a breakup separation. Somebody's separating from something. There's another option here. There definitely is. We do have a separation from a partnership. The lack of awareness. We have somebody here that is very focused. They're very, very focused. They're focused on staying put where they are. They're not letting anything in. We do have an opening up though. Somebody needs to open up their heart. They do need to open up their heart. They need to listen to their heart. They need to forgive the past. They need to let go of the past. They need to stop focusing on the past. This is the past and stop, stop, stop. There's stop. I don't know who that's for. Stop focusing on the past. That's not wish fulfillment. A partnership, a partner that breaks your heart is not wish fulfillment. There's another option. Somebody has made a poor judgment call in regards to a partnership. They've been staying put in that partnership that is very dissatisfying. They may be going through an awakening now or they're starting to realize something. There's definitely another option. I feel like we have somebody here that keeps revisiting something. I feel like there's another choice. There's confusion. Somebody is examining their choices. They're examining their options. There's a deep connection that can be had here with somebody that is solid. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is solid. She's real. That's something real, solid, stable, long-term. Five of, pent or five of Wands just fell out. This is conflict, tension, competition, fighting. There is a fight. We have a partnership that is, is getting into a fight. Okay, there's a conflict in, in some sort of partnership. There could definitely be an emotional or angry outburst ahead. <coughs> Somebody's been grieving over a loss. 
they have another option. There's, they've been reluctant to make that move. But there could be something that is being exposed with the Two of Swords reversed. Or somebody's just ripping that blindfold off. They're ready to make a move. Either way, this is conflict, competition, tension, strife in a partnership that is not compatible. There's another option here. Somebody's going to be making a choice. Right now, they're feeling inner conflict, okay? Over having to walk away from something because of the safety of it. Something is happening now. I saw this twice on the bottom and I just shuffled and it came up again in the reverse. So I got to show it. This is lack of wish fulfillment. We have it in the Nine of Cups reverse as well. Oh my God, why is this happening now? Something is happening now. This is, this is, it is, okay? This is universally driven. Somebody has been unwilling to make a move. They've been stuck. They've been, uh... not having any faith there's no faith there's depleted there's depletion there's illness there's a lack of hope somebody doesn't believe in themselves they're they're letting their self their own self doubts hold them back oh my god why is this happening now this is not what i asked for there's a fight or a conflict here that is something is coming to a halt Somebody's made a poor judgment call. There's going to be a separation. I'm sorry. There's another option here. There is loss. There is there's a heartbreaking, there is a loss here. Okay, the three of swords, the two of cups reversed, and the five of cups. This is a tense situation. Okay, this is a conflict or a fight. It may have something to do with the money, may have something to do with the vehicle. Um or another person, you know, there may be another person here that is causing conflict. You know what I mean? There's definitely a conflict here. Holding on hurts. It hurts. And it's dissatisfying. And it's blocking somebody from wish fulfillment. There's a better match. But you have to be willing to accept the truth. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. It may be coming out suddenly. There's a lot of people involved as well. There is conflict. There is changes. Expect the unexpected. Somebody's going to be making an unexpected choice in love. It has to do with long-term stability. Because that's the Queen of Pentacles. She's, she's all about stability, security, and commitment. She's very focused. She, okay? She's very focused. She's real. There's a real connection here. But you're going to have to be willing to let it in. You have to, you have to step outside of your comfort zone to let it in. Okay? Let's get one of these. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Honesty is essential. There could be some truth that is coming out. And I say that because of the two of swords reverse. Somebody's been torn, right? They've been going back and forth. They've had to make a decision. They've had more than one option. This is making a choice. Somebody is making a choice. There's been stagnation. There's been delays. There's been conflict. There's probably going to be a fight. And this, is, this could be a fight that sends somebody packing. Could be. Or towards another lover. And it could be about the other lover. Good luck.